good morning and uh, welcome back to Boisterous Cock Farmstead. Happy Memorial Day for those of you in the US. Can I have my hand back? So this morning, um, I'm actually getting ready for going to the butcher tomorrow and I've got the trailer out in the pasture here and I need to pull some hay out of there before I let the pigs out. I've got uh, the one that's going to market and then just one other one that kind of followed her in to this holding area. And uh, I'll let her freely graze around um, tonight and probably load her up tonight, but uh, I might also just leave her and load her up first thing in the morning. Since it's not cold out, my truck should start fine without having to plug it up. So uh, let's do that. Let's get the hay out of here and then we'll let the pig out and uh, kind of go over her, see if I can get a measurement on her, but she hasn't been willing to let me measure her lately. So um, that may not be an option. All right, so we've got the, the hay in the dump cart over here out of the way. You close up this gate actually had two eggs that uh, a couple of chickens lay in that trailer. On a pretty regular basis, so I'll just give them as treats to these two pigs here. Hey girls, you want out? The one on the right there, over here, is the one that's going to the butcher. And this one here is a, an American guinea hog. She always has a hard time keeping weight on. Even harder if she's competing against a much bigger pig for food. So let's see if she goes and checks out the trailer here. Hi. Hi. And so that's one of the reasons why. You want to come here? Come here. That's one of the reasons why I put the truck in here the day before. I want to try to load her up Just so that she can get used to. Having it around, not be scared of it. And uh, <clears throat> generally I do load them up at night because it's easier to get them into uh, the trailer when there's a light on in the trailer and it's dark outside versus when it's bright outside and they're walking into a dark trailer. They don't like to go from light to dark. So some of, I've had some pigs that'll do it and uh but most of them as a rule don't really like it there she is so i'm gonna try to get a measurement on her and uh, if i can i'll check back with you guys if i can't i'll still check back with you guys i just won't have any information to go off of but uh everybody else is doing pretty good i'll do some herd rotations once i get this one out of here i'm gonna start growing out some of the other hybrids on a real slow pace but I do have one of them that is slated to go to the butcher in September. So uh, I want to make sure that she's on track as well. Make sure her frame is growing, but not too fast. I don't want her getting fat. I just want her to kind of slowly grow. And uh, after a certain period of time, I don't know what that is. I will probably combine all of the pigs again. And uh, some of that's going to depend on if we get any natural vegetation. But... I'll give you guys an update on how the establishment of the grass in that small pasture is doing as well. 
here in just a little bit. So she won't let me get around her rib cage, which is normal for her, but she did stay relatively still for me to get the measurement from the base of the ears to the base of the tail. And she's somewhere in the 44, 45 range uh inches that is for any international watchers in the metric system and generally speaking uh the pig's uh, circumference around the rib cage is going to be about the same um but i'm actually going to subtract a couple inches just to be on the safe side so i'll run the numbers here doing that all right so running the numbers Conservatively, she should weigh somewhere around 125 pounds hanging weight, and on the higher end, somewhere around 150. So we'll have to see once we get her back from the butcher, which, if any of those numbers is correct. Generally speaking, the Durox that I've had have actually weighed higher than the formula, which is girth squared times length. Uh, divided by 400 will give you the the live weight and then you multiply by either 0 0.6 or 0 0.65 somewhere in there and uh, I've been getting higher hanging weights so they're not as fat as uh, or they're probably a little bit more muscular than uh, that equation allows for or factors in so we'll have to see um, this will be good information for when I raise out the one in the fall, uh, how I need to charge my customer for that one. So, so as you can see, this is, the, this is the area that I planted first. And I've actually cut it with the lawnmower a couple times. And I've used the bagger and fed the clippings to the bores. And then this area here, is an area that I planted at the same time, but I was having issues with the um, the manifold, the automatic water or manifold working properly because it was cutting off after half an hour instead of running for two hours. And once I got that fixed, you can see we've got grass sprouting all over the place. So this should grow in nicely. Uh, this area over here, I planted about a week after I planted the first area and i didn't do quite as thick of the compost around here and it seems like it's doing okay and same with over there planted this this zone and this zone on the same day and that one i didn't quite have enough compost to do the full circumference of uh, the watering zone but it's still growing over there and there's actually looks like there's actually some natural grass popping up in an area that uh, doesn't have any compost or seed that I planted and then we get to the new area so you can see this area this stuff here so this is this is the stuff that I got first from my horse breeder neighbors and it's uh, you can tell there's still a lot of kind of hay and things like that it wasn't fully broken down compost wise it's kind of a light brown and then this last load that I got from them is very broken down much darker and uh, much finer for the most part and I just kind of dumped it you could see I was using my dump cart so I think it was 24 or 23 loads out of the dump cart. I'll just come out here with a rake and level this all out. I haven't decided if I'm gonna mix any seed in here with it or not. So that remains to be determined. But that's essentially one trailer load. And this is what fell through the bottom of the trailer. So, over the next few weeks, um, hey. yeah, buddy. What? Okay, come here. Hold my hand. Oh, 
Over the next few weeks, I plan to try to get as much of that loaded over here into this pasture as I can before the seasonal rains start coming in July and August time frame. And uh, I've got my nephews and my brother and uh, my parents are, are slated to be out here, here like uh, the second week of June. And uh, so either they'll help unload or they'll be able to watch Asher so that I can actually get some of that work done. And uh, I may have a couple other projects if they want to kick in and do that as well. But uh, that's going to do it for today. And uh, as I said, happy Memorial Day. And uh, thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And as always, click the bell notification so that you're notified when new content is released. As always, thanks for joining us and God bless.